Well, hey guys, uh, we're back, and uh, as you can see, this is my Thumbler, Thumbler's Tumbler Model B 140. Um, I've had this particular tumbler for about two years now, and you know, it's great. It, it works just as good as you know the Frankfurt Arsenal or. You know, Lyman has one, um, RCBS has one called the Sidewinder, which is just ridiculously expensive. I don't understand that. Um, but anyway, this uh, this unit uh, is great. I've got two of them. i got one that's brand new in the box. I haven't even opened it yet. Um, anyway, uh, what I've done is I take some lukewarm, lukewarm water, and I take my brass, okay, and put the brass in there. Okay, and uh, I add a little bit of uh, Dawn dishwashing soap. Okay, you only want to just go ahead and put a little little squirt in there, about like that. Okay, doesn't have to be exact amounts. Now there are some uh, stores out there that doesn't carry it, but if they have a canning section, you can get the same thing. Um, I'm talking about Lemmy Shine. A lot of guys put Lemmy Shine in their solution, and uh, Lemmy Shine does work real good. And I have some, but for uh, demonstration purposes, we're going to go ahead and use Fruit Fresh instead. This stuff is uh, citric acid, you know, and, and we're just going to add a little bit of this. I put, ooh, let's see, I pay, I put about that much, you know, about about what a 9 millimeter case would probably hold okay all right so we got our brass we've got our uh, our fruit fresh and we have our Dawn dishwashing soap in there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this up with water right up to about um, the three-quarter mark about three quarters because you, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you have enough room in there for the, the, the soap, the suds, you know, to do its thing. So let's go ahead and put the lid on this bad boy and get to tongue. I'll tell you what, anybody, um, anybody out there that wants to restore their brass, you know, to like new finish, man, I'll tell you what, this thing really does it. Um, it also takes that whole uh, dusty environment away from us for back in the day when we used to use dry tumbling. Now I still have a, a Lyman dry tumbler um, vibratory uh, tumbler. It's out in the garage, and I still use it too. You know, I, I, I use it for cleaning, you know, uh, pistol brass and that sort of thing. That you know, I don't. I'm not going to deprime. I'm just going to go ahead and you know throw them through my. Uh, my Dillon press. And I have to agree with Fortune Cookie on that one. I mean, there's no real need to clean the primer pockets all the time. Um, about every third, every third firing, you know. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that these are taut, okay, not super tight. And uh, you want to line it up like so, okay. And uh, you want also want to make sure that these wing nuts are on this side, not this side. Otherwise, what you'll do is you'll start hitting the little uh, the little uh, arbor right here. And this is um, they, they they have two models. One is the uh, slower RPM, and one's a higher RPM. And you want the one that has the higher RPM because the one with the lower RPM will take longer. It'll clean your brass just as much as this one will. But um, it just takes a little longer. So anyway, I'm going to do a little technical uh, readjustment here. I'm going to go ahead and steal the power from this light. All right. And we're going to plug this thing in. And away we go. So there you go guys, 
got the brass in there, got it tumbling. Um, I'm going to let it go for about well, two and a half hours, and then I'll come back and check it out and, you know, take the brass out, take a look at it, just make sure it's clean. Uh, I might even have to let it go for another hour. But, you know, that's good. But the brass should come out restored, like brand new. So anyway, this is Thor's Act, and I'll cut back in and uh, I want to go ahead to check the brass. So, see you in a couple hours.